Hello and welcome to another section in further mathematics. We we'll continue our um, solving questions on projectiles. But before we continue, I would like us to take a, big, a quick review of our previous lesson. Okay, thank you. Welcome back. You know, the last time we did something about projectile, we solved some of the questions. So today I would like us to go into some other examples that will help us to become more acquainted with questions that have to do with projectile. Now, let's say a body is projected with an initial velocity of 73.43 meters per second. With an angle of twenty nine point four degree down calculate the maximum height which B maximum height reached B time of flight C range D time taken to reach maximum height now I would like us to apply um, the equations we stated previously on projectile to this I said a body is projected with an initial velocity of um, 73.43 meters per second with an angle of 29.4 degrees now we are expected to calculate the maximum height reached the time of flight of a body the range that's a horizontal range and the time taken to reach to get to the maximum height now let's start with the maximum height reach remember the formula for a um, uh, maximum height you state your solution the formula for maximum height, I'll, I'll, I want to use um, mh to represent um, our maximum height. Formula for maximum height is u square sine square theta all over 2g. Remember, it's only maximum height that has 2g below it. So, and this now is equal to the value of our u was given to us as um, 73. 0.43 let me write it use 73.43 why theta is equal to 29.4 degree 29.4 degree so 73.43 all square times sine sine 29 times sine 29.4 all square all over 2 times 9.8 which is equal to 64.97 meters you're talking about height maximum height that's um it for maximum height we've gotten a value of our maximum height which is number one has been that so um another thing i want us to go into what was the second uh, this we are looking for the time of flight so number two 
is a time of flight and the time of flight is equal to 2u sine theta over g and is equal to 2 times 73.43 times sine 29.4 all over 9.8 so which is at the same time equivalent to 7.25 seconds so this is to tell you that it took this object 7.25 seconds from the point it was being projected to where it got to its target now the third part is um, called the range from this remember the formula for the range which we stated as u square sine 2 theta all over g so with this let's take the value of u to be 73.43 all square times sine um, 2 theta times sine 2 theta we should now give you equal to 2 times um, 29 sine 2 times 29.4 degrees all over 9.8 meters per second 9.8 meters per second um, acceleration per second square and by that the range of this function will now be 461.2 meters remember um, I said the last time that the range is also a distance so the range of this um, is measured in meters and the maximum height which is also measured in meters and now finally I want us to talk about um, the uh, the fourth point uh, that we are supposed to take into consideration was the time taken to reach the maximum height time to reach maximum height is equal to time of flight divided by 2 which is because the time of flight was 7.25 7.25 divided by 2 is so equal to 3.6 time is seconds. So, I think um, I will first of all say a very big thank you for being part of today's lesson. Um, you've actually done noble for joining us but um, before we leave I want you to um, give, do justice to the test that will be appearing very soon in front of your screen always do well um, to use the lesson notes in the platform for better information on the topic being discussed feel free to drop your comments your questions in the comment section and it will be attended to thank you